If you are currently getting this error in your Copilot studio, then you are in the right place because we're gonna be talking about why you're getting that and how to fix it and how to avoid it in the future so that you don't keep dealing with it. So in this video, we are not doing a deep dive into explaining what variables are. I'm assuming you know what they are. If you don't, you're gonna wanna check out this video here as I walk through that because you're gonna need to know what's covered in that before you're able to really understand why you're getting this error. But assuming you know what variables are and the limitations of variables, the reason you're getting this error is fairly simple. And that is because if you'll notice right here, it says the type of the variable and you can have several different types, but right now it is a type of string. And what we're trying to do is give it a type of closed list option set. That's what our coffee type entity is here. This is an option set. I can, I don't know if I can click on it from this screen, I cannot, but nonetheless, we're trying to put an option set value into a string variable and it doesn't like it. And you'll be getting this with any combination of different variable types. Now I wish they would fix this, but you actually can't directly set the type of a variable in Microsoft Copilot Studio. When you go to create a new variable, there is not a way to set the type of that variable. The type is actually dynamically set for you. If you notice this variable that I just created is a type of choice because the entity is a choice entity. Now, why is Microsoft choosing to make it a choice? It is because this is the first place in this topic where this variable occurs. And what that means is because the first place that it is, is a choice. Now, wherever I use it throughout this flow, it is going to be stuck as a choice variable. So if I switch this back to our coffee type variable because that's what we're trying to figure out. I, I put this in here intentionally where I'm setting the coffee type of a, to a string by setting it to the text of coffee. But if I delete this, you'll see that this now becomes the top example where coffee type is being set and it switches it to choice. Now, I understand that if you've built out your topic in a way, you can't just choose to delete a certain conversation node, but if you can understand that this is how Copilot is setting the variable types, then I'm sure you can find a way to manipulate it in your scenario. So let's say for example, that I need to pass this coffee type as a string to a Power Automate flow for whatever reason. But I wanna capture it as an option set because I want this, these different options to be selectable by the user. So what I could actually do is later down in my flow, as you can see that if I have a coffee type is equal to medium roast, this is a condition statement that I have in here, I could go ahead and create a new variable. And now let's say I wanna set a new variable and this new variable could be coffee type text. And now if I save this, now I have a second variable and this can now store the text of medium. So now I am able to take what I'm originally capturing in an option set and storing it as a text. And now I could use that text in any way, shape or form. So utilizing something like this in a condition statement is something that you should look to do and actually creating a second variable. Now, there might still be some of you out there who are saying, okay, Griffin, look, buddy, this is the top action and the type is still not set correctly. You can see here that there's nothing in my topic that is above this that could be missetting the coffee type to string. Well. There is a little detail that took me a while to figure out why this is. And the reason this is happening is because your variable is either a global variable or is a topic variable that can either receive or pass its value to another topic. If you're not sure what I mean, let me just show you. You'll see that underneath the variable preferences, there's some additional options. And when you have these additional options set, once you check these boxes or check it to global and save your variable, you cannot change the variable type. So at the time when I had selected this, 
the type of the variable was still a string. And now even though I've deleted that action, even though I had already selected this preference, it continues to maintain the type, even though this is now the first action. So how do I get rid of this? Now, like I said at the beginning, I wish Microsoft would just give you the ability to set the variable type automatically, but the system does it. Now, how can we fix this? Let's say we want it to be a Boolean, then what you need to do is you actually need to set the settings back to topic. Now, I understand that this might be annoying, but you need to uncheck these or turn it back to a topic and save it. In doing so, in turning off those additional preferences, you'll see that my coffee type now was set back correctly. Now, if I need this to be turned on, I can go back and turn this feature back on and now kind of relock in the new variable type. Hopefully this gives you a couple of tools for solving this issue. I would hate to admit how long it took me to figure out how to do this and I don't think it's ideal, but this is a current workaround with the current state of Microsoft Copilot Studio. I think Microsoft Copilot Studio is really, really cool, but I do find sometimes the difference between variables and entities can be confusing. If that is you, you are gonna wanna check out this video here as I talk about everything you need to know about the differences between variables and entities and how they relate to each other. Thank you to you for sticking to end of the video. My name is Griffin Lickfelt, the host of the Citizen Developer channel, and I'm excited to connect with you in the next one.